Okay, Globies. This is how you contain air pressure. Here we have a flat tire. And what I'm going to do now is start putting the air pressure in. In this video, Randy is setting a challenge for us. He wants us to demonstrate pressure held without a container. He surmises that since Earth has air pressure, it cannot possibly be an open system. The only issue with this is that Earth has a pressure gradient, not a constant pressure as his example would suggest. We, we should let him finish first. And what you will notice is that the air is going into a container, and thus the air is being contained. Now, what I would like you Globies to do and it really is pretty simple is to contain air pressure without a container. Dead easy. Because if we live in an open system it should be easy for you to demonstrate this very technique that I'm doing now. You see, this right here, Randy, shows us that you don't quite get how pressure and pressure vessels work. I will say fair enough to you that I cannot hold pressure without a container, but the very fact that you propose this challenge demonstrates how woefully uneducated you are in the matter. Now, I don't want to get into insulting the man's intelligence, but with all this genius he's holding in that noggin of his, I imagine he could have done better than a painter as a career. You don't find that kind of menial labor mind-numbing, do you, Ranty? I mean, or was it a choice that you made to allow more time for Globies to Bastin, as you would say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry. Moving along to actual pressure mechanics and their proper function, I will show you why Ranty's example proves his lack of knowledge on pressure vessels and how they should behave. We will start by tearing apart his shit example and show why even a fool should sit back and go, hmm, that doesn't seem right. First, Ranty's example of a tire is flawed for one simple, testable, observable fact. <laughs> they love that set of words. The fact of the matter is that Earth has a pressure gradient and not a constant pressure like a tire. You know how we know? If you test the pressure inside a tire, anywhere in that tire with a remote sensor, you'll get the same pressure at every sensor. Since the air inside is contained, as Ranty would put it, the pressure is trying to escape with equal outward force in all directions. That's very different from what we can observe with our own eyes and instruments. Since the Earth's atmosphere is simply laying on top of the planet, held down by a massive force of gravity, it becomes less and less dense as you go up. Now, I know this is hard to understand, Ranty, but that's because of the paradigm that exists with flat earthers where they tend to get more dense as we approach the top. But th 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 think about it this way. Imagine you're in a gigantic pile of fat guys. Everyone knows you want to be on the top of a Portuguese pig roast because of the heat and pressure at the bottom. So the reality is that he is comparing apples to oranges, A to B. You can't compare the Earth model that clearly has a pressure gradient, something we can easily test to a tire with a constant pressure. This example is either purposely deceitful or just ignorant of the obvious. Before we go, I have one more little tidbit. While commenting on this video and saying you cannot have a pressure gradient in an enclosed space, I was linked something that made me laugh out loud, and I want to show you all. The comment went something like, not too up to date on that science stuff, huh? And then link. And it took me to this. Now, I took a glance at this and it started to laugh within seconds. I love it when you know they for sure just started rapidly Googling for something to prove you wrong, grab the first thing they see, toss it up on the screen. Ooh, yeah, how'd you explain this then, they say? Do they read them at all? Or read them or just not comprehend them? Because this shit is awesome. You see, this is a liquid resin injection between two laminate layers. If you look here, they are showing you that the white area is a vacuum, and the pressure on the resin side is pushing towards the vacuum. But this is where the flatards just jumped up and went, gotcha, because we always say vacuums don't suck. Well, they don't. 
The PATM is pressure atmospheric of 14.696. In other words, they didn't pressurize it at all. They just pulled a vacuum on the one side. This makes the other side with a pressure of zero PSIG it use its actual pressure, the PSIA, atmospheric, of 14.696 at sea level to just push the resin in using natural air pressure at sea level. Like, you know when you open your big stupid mouth and all that air rushes in? That's because you expanded the inside area and created a low pressure zone, allowing the world and obviously some of those paint fumes to come pouring in. 